welcome. Yes, yes, welcome to my channel. Welcome YouTube family, family, friends, and followers. If you're new, then hi, welcome. Good morning. So yes, yes, it is a beautiful day here in Merced, California. I am going to do a devotional reading with y'all. I used to do these a lot more, and I have not done one in a while. And this is going to be in a series. I'm going to start bringing these every Sunday. I read from a lot of different books. But um, I love my devotionals. I love Joyce Myers. I kind of grew up with her. My mom's mom and dad watch her and watch her sermon. I've got family back home that enjoys her. She relates to everyday life, which I think is beautiful. So I'm going to start bringing these again. If you are not a religious person, that is okay, whether it's just something positive or a goal you're trying to reach and you want to hang out with me while I read this, I would truly appreciate it. Make sure you like and subscribe. But if you're someone this is not your cup of tea, that's fine. Just click out. Um, you don't have to leave any nasty or rude comment. I'm just here doing what I enjoy doing. And I'm still working on the editing and getting better at the quality and sound. I'm also recording from my camera, so I'm still learning my camera. I have not used my camera a whole, whole lot. Um, and I'm still getting used to that. So the kind of in and out, the focusing can be a little different. i got to clean up some of the storage space in my phone a little bit later this evening and work on my son's birthday tape invitation. Mason, you got to turn it down or go in, buddy. I'm recording. That's my son, Mason. That's better. Yeah, that's better. Okay, he's watching the Nintendo Switch. So I hope you enjoyed this and you will stick with me on this reading. And yes, yes, we're outside because this is a beautiful day. This is Trusting God Day by Day by Joyce Myers. There she is. And we are looking at March 23rd. And every day it gives you everyday reading and it gives you a topic and then it gives you a chapter and a Bible verse. Then she goes into the reading and then she's got a trust in Him. And then it gives you kind of like a question. And then you got right there what I was talking about then. And I already highlighted that because I was trying to record on my phone. Then it said my storage space was full. So this one is people who, uh, people who are difficult to get along with. If you merely love those who love you, what quality of credit and thanks is that to you? For even the very sinners love their lovers, those who love them. And that comes from Luke chapter 6, verse 32. We'll look it up on my phone since I've got my um, phone out here. And I read from the New International Study Bible, and I got that at Majestic Bible Store in Modesto, California. So I, lo I love it. Let's see. It'll take me a minute to look it up, y'all. Six, verse 32. Okay. Okay. There we go. And we're just going to read it from the New International Whoa. Version. New International Version. Right, there's the reading it says. If you love those who love you, what credit is that for you? Even sinners love those who love them. Okay. So this is Luke chapter 6, verse 33. This Bible verse is. Sometimes it's a little bit differently. But this is, uh, that, that reading that I read just a minute ago is from Luke chapter 6, verse 32. Okay. So it says, I'm going to read a paragraph at a time and then kind of break down my opinion and what I get from it. I am very thankful that I know the Word of God and have Him in my life to help and comfort me. But I try to remember that a lot of people in the world who are difficult to get along with don't have that. I always want my behavior to be a witness for Christ and not something that would make Him ashamed of me. This being the case, I had to work very hard with the Holy Spirit to develop the ability to act on the Word of God. When people are rude, instead of merely reacting to them with behavior that matches or tops theirs, okay. 
so that very first paragraph is just pretty much saying there, not everybody's going to be religious or think the way you do or have Christ in their life. So, you know, sometimes it is hard to get along with rude people. I, you know, I have good days and I have rude days, and sometimes we just have to practice what we preach, just like doing math or, you know, working with your kids or out in the public eye. And it's easier said than done, but it can be done because they say pra practice makes perfect. It says, the issue is actually very common, which means that we will all deal with difficult people on and off throughout our lives. People are everywhere, and not all of them are pleasant, so we must t make a decision about how we are going to react towards them. Will we act on the word of God and love for them and for his sake, or will we merely react emotionally and end up perhaps acting worse than they act? Have you ever let a rude person ruin your day? Make a decision that you will not ever do that again because when you do, you are wasting some of the precious time God has given you. When a day is gone, you can never get it back. So I urge you not to waste it being emotionally distracted over someone you may never even see again. So that's true. Sometimes people you won't ever even see again or whether it's in your own home or with a loved one, there are going to be days where you just spend your time wasted because someone offended you, something didn't go your way, um, a rude person, and then I, I'm, I'm bad about it. Sometimes I'll see something or something will happen and I'll just drown in it. Instead of drowning in it, I should take more time to pray about it and just move on. You know, move on. So, and that's what she's saying. Don't, don't waste a day because when, when this day's gone, I mean... If I waste my time on that one thing, once it stays gone, I'm not getting it back. And, and she is very right about that, you know. Life is precious and it's fragile. So we should appreciate every moment, the birds, the animals, the sunshine, a roof over your head, food in your fridge, a warm place to sleep, a, a friend, a loved one, um, God's word, music. Uh, and however you do it, however you feel and think is your opinion and your right. But, you know. Try not to approach someone in that way. One thing I've learned is when I do, I try to catch it right away. Sometimes it might be a couple hours later. Sometimes it might be a few minutes later. And I will go back and say sorry. And then I'll say sorry to God, too. I try to watch it more. But if I do, then I'm going to try to go back and catch it. You know? So it says, if you are in a situation that requires you to be with one of these hard-to-get-along-with people every day, I urge you to pray for them instead of reacting emotionally to them. Our prayer opens the door for God to work through. Sometimes when we pray, God will lead us to confront a person like that. When he does, remember that confrontation should still be done in the spirit of love. So when you got to confront someone, don't do it come off like they come off to you. Um, try to do it in a loving, pleasing way. Just tell them that you didn't approve of it and you'll pray for them, but don't try to be like nasty about it. Because sometimes we are bad as humans as, oh, well, yeah, they did that again and we want to do double that. And that never works. That just kind of creates more drama, more stress. And, uh, it is something that we can work on. It says, is there a person in your life who's difficult to be around? Pray and ask God to teach you how to respond to them in every situation. And, yeah, I think there's a lot for me. But it, it's learning to pray and, and to kind of move on. If, it, if it's me that comes off sideways or rude, whether it's on my channel, whether it's in the public, whether it's in my own home, then I need to remember to go back and say sorry, ask for forgiveness, and pray and move on and not drown myself in it. And the same thing for anybody else. Um, easier said than done, I think, but just like learning to walk or do math or whatever it is you're trying to do, play a sport, practice makes perfect, as my dad would tell me. Um, I'm in English now, and I know English is not e easy for me. It's, I don't have the most proper English. I'm working on it. But practice makes perfect, right? So that is my reading for y'all. Um, I will be bringing these every Sundays in a series form. Please remember to like and subscribe. We are on the road to 850. I will be doing a giveaway every 150 subscribers. We're trying to hit that 1K and build those watch hours. The watch hours is the hardest, but we will get there. I have faith in God we will get there. I've spent a lot of time 
a lot of money into my YouTube channel. Cameras, tripods, um, my laptops for school, and my YouTube channel. And I do other stuff too on there. Um, I've got a, uh, the ring light. Um, there's just so, so much, you know. So um, the lighting will be something that we start working on in this house when we get back from our trip little by little, not right away. So, yeah, I'm, I'm excited and I'm going to try to learn to work harder and push towards my goals, which I already do, but I'm trying to work on them in certain ways now. So, yes, I hope you all have a blessed morning. Sorry about the background noise, but he's a boy. I let him come out here and enjoy his time outdoors. Um, that's my little guy. That's Mason. And remember to be blessed, and I'll see you soon. Goodbye.